Bounce too much. Well, them for bounce is nice, but if you pull it the wrong way, it could have us uh, suddenly turn in a mm -hmm. different direction. Oh, yeah. well, not not that rope. The one that Shrek's yeah, cutting won't rope, do a damn thing. I'm more worried about the lady up front. Don't worry Target about me. Really hard. I know. No, I'm not gonna do that. Damn it. <laughs> Funnily enough, this is about the second time I've been on a boat in years. Hmm. Well, hopefully nothing catastrophic happens. Didn't pick up any more cargo, yeah? Just this 18-ton and well. Oh no! Yeah. It's just in his inventory. You can't see. Do, 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 this people they were the stroking page. my ego the whole time. My head got a lot heavier. <clears throat> I'm screwed. Who is that? Do, 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 do. I don't know. They're wearing Want white. Want me to pull closer? We might lose the speed. If we get closer, I'm going to uh, yell an obscenity at them. I see I'm not tempted to see that. A little fire, a little fire. Campfire. Mm. Oh, might be someone just uh, resting on the beach. That's what I would do. I think. Speaking of resting, I'm just gonna go to the bathhouse when I get back. Oh, I think that's Marin. What? Oh my goodness. Oh. It actually is. It is Marin. Ready the cannons. That's not suspicious at all. <laughs> I have the right here. Readying. Readying, sir. Ready to fire. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, sorry. I know exactly what a cannon sounds like. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Why would the boat stop? Oh my oh. god. Oh no, that's not good. He's dying. Oh, he's dead. We've hit a reef. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm back. Yeah. Okay. Someone take <laughs> the rope, please. Oh, uh, no, it's all at once. <clears throat> no, commit. This is our fate. This is your fate. It'd be a shame if we went out there in the middle of the ocean, I'd died. <laughs> yeah, can anyone here actually, like, pilot a boat? Commit. Eh. I can. Kind of. No, okay. I don't it's know not really to. wicked figure, but I though. Can. Not that I complicated can. to move a rudder. Right. But I don't want to, because I actually can't. Yeah. <clears throat> Should have thought about that before making that character. <laughs> Why do we have fish mom? <laughs> your, your prisoner's cursed! <laughs> but I just did a 360. <clears throat> Me too. You have a bakery? In the back. Boo! Boo! What do you mean, boo? <laughs> Get out of the boat. Why are you all booing me? I'm right. I no, don't draw. I think please. if we got down here, you would die. <clears throat> you know, anchor. Hang on. It is really deep, deep right here, but... It capsized us really right now. Deep. All right. Get Captain! Uh, Look! Uh, <laughs> Captain! Oh fuck! Oh shit! No 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 no! I, I once, I once Wait, why is the water oh. turning black? Oh, Lottie! Oh, my God. Holy shit! Lottie, why do you have so many good? An we all fired a cannon I'm just once. built different. <clears throat> You're built I wrong. Think, well, my foot is. How do I get the air out of this thing? On the bridge. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Which one of you, you go to your house? Um, oh, I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe yours. <clears throat> Sweet. Oh, right. Thank you for keeping me safe. Of course. What a 
trial that was. <laughs> and all I had to do was not look up your skirt. I'm a good man, it's true. Thank you for your gentlemanly escort. Take on the of course. Boss. I will not cross you in future. Also a good idea. I wouldn't. That sword. That sword's probably as heavy as me, Miss Nadia. I would definitely cross you. Well, that's why it cleaves people too, because as heavy as it is sharp, which means a lot of momentum and a lot of efficiency. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, Aegon. Bye bye. How 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 alone do you want this to be? White. Bye-bye. Take care. Thanks. Just me and you? Oh, she can hear too. Because Oshan's been that... out at the... Uh, he, they've already been out I've at the special place. And, uh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to unlock the door. Come on, man. Locked. <clears throat> okay. Also, told you, Shriek. Mm. Nice new table. <sighs> what is this, uh. Cushions too. Mahogany? <laughs> it might just be. <sighs> we'll get this going while we're sitting here. I got two Herrera grass and two Camrick from my journey this morning. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, can I, can I use those up instantly? Alright, I'm gonna use them up instantly. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, burn them up. I, that's more antidote and uh, healing, so. Pay up. Where's all my oh, money? Okay. Do, no, no, do, you, do you actually need some? Do I need to. <laughs> no, I can. Uh, don't worry about it right now. Just, yeah, you, you can use okay, them okay, there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't worry about it right now. Because we're, we're trying to build up to. We're trying to help. Shriek, we're almost there. Almost got enough materials to uh, start work. Get Marcus to start work on that stable for y'all. Oh, good. Now, uh, let me know if you need anything. Yeah. Uh, right now, um, the only thing I'm short on right now, I'm waiting for Miss Marin to finish up the rope. She says she needs more fibers. I have some on me. Want to try and if, when she comes back in town, give that to her. Um, and I got all the chemicals. For some, yes. Venora, can I get a silver from you? Only a silver. Oh, yeah, sure. Can, can I get 20? I'm gonna flick it to you. Fuck you. <laughs> Catch. <laughs> yes. So, I gave Oshan... You have no idea how much fucking dragon fennel me and Venora had to gather for that. Alright. I don't want to think about the word dragon or fennel. Do you like dragon? Dragon, do you... Fuck no. you. Give me one second and I'll put down here... One silver... What? He didn't hear shit. Don't look at me, Wolf. Sean. <clears throat> Sean. Okay. That takes care of you. Yeah, see... So, looking at everything, because they said for your stall, Marcus right now is working on creating the hay into thatch, because I uh, already paid in full to um, Henry, and he's providing the hay, and he's turning into the thatch we need. And then, once I get the other rope from Miss Marin, we'll have the two ropes that's needed. And I have plenty of the stone, which I am having the alchemicals turn it into quick climb as we speak, which will be done today. And then I just give all that to him mm -hmm. to mix with a barrel and make a barrel with that. And provide almost that enough wood. I got 38 wood and I'm needing over 40 wood. So we're almost there. So probably another day or two. And then they can start work on your y'all's uh, horse stalls. Just so if we have an emergency around here, we actually don't have to 
bend the knee to not as Aristotle's. We have our own that we can come to, the friends mm. of the forge. Good. <sighs> Next, we'll be getting a war horse. That's going to cost some money. I know that much. But I told Tazima to help out as much as I can. <laughs> so, what do you need of me? Tell me about, um, Goldra. Oh. Sure. What do you need to know about him? Um. How much are you wanting to know about him? What does he look like? Um. Well, the many times that I've seen him over and over again, <laughs> and the talks we've had. Uh, very kind man. He is old, kind of wrinkly face, got a long, magnificent beard, almost like a long beard, where it's kind of nicely tied in knots. He has some blue items on him that kind of glow iridescent blue. He has some books, some potions. Um, nice shoes too. <laughs> Very ornate clothing, I guess you would say. Not not something you normally see travelers wearing. <laughs> has he been watching over you too? He uh, spoke to me the other day. I think. Mm. I wasn't sure if it was that? real or not. I'm pretty sure it's very real. Very. When he talks to you, it's almost. Uh, to me, it's almost like a grandfather talking to me. They're very akin to magic. They're very. Mirren and I have always felt Chat, roll a very D20. overwhelming pressure when we're around the Ancient One. Goldrick is quite different. He's like staring at an unendless horizon, a well of endless possibilities and dreams. Very calming, soothing, feels like family. He is very wise and very. Sometimes. Sometimes might seem as a riddle, but he does speak in truth. I mean, he never asks of anything in return. He just gives what he thinks you are ready for. Just like I'm trying to convince Dazrin not to be so thrown off about the idea just because he hasn't appeared before you doesn't mean he doesn't hate you it just seems like he's more willing to deal with the ancient one than he is of someone that might be able to help him because it is my belief he is of the order people who go against the grain of Elysium Even though he probably was at one time at Elysium. What? I just wasn't sure if it was what? something I was actually seeing oh. or another one of my... Hmm. Now, if you saw him, it's, he's quite real. He will disappear and reappear never can tell where he is at any given time and he'll speak to you almost like the ancient one does when he disappears and you don't see him and then he reappears but he can speak like why that as well. why maybe he's interested in you maybe he thinks you can change things when we you weren't there this i will tell you when we left the border he appeared one last time and then it had been two years before I saw him again 
said one thing that was very important to me. He said, everything you see before you was created from things of old. People that thought they were doing the right thing. Many lives were saved. Many were lost. He, his hopes are in people like me and others that can change things, not follow the same path that they did. Yep. Make, Is he a, a, difference in this world. a ghost or... What is he? No, he's very real. I think he's a mage, a very powerful one. He might even be one of these supposed birthright magic users where he was just born with the innate ability. I know he is quite old, as your father was kind of freaking out over the fact that he thought I was film full of hobbob back in Adwick when I wasn't. Which kind of makes me a little angry that he thought I was crazy. Uh, think about it. But, no. So, from time to time, when I can, I write him letters and he'll drop off ones in return, answering my questions. Just like I have some <coughs> answers now I would like to give Vezrin about Elysium and how he needs to be cautious on how he goes about this robber baron. And asking about Elysium. Because it is tied to some very, very not so good people. That's the reason why it was destroyed. It was for that very, very reason. And why it doesn't exist. And why Agmadrod is now Agmadrod. And that's why it makes me pause when wanting to deal with Gilux and the Institute. Because they are following along the same lines of what I'm learning about what Elysium stood for back in its heyday. Now they might be different. They might be also like the Order. Who knows? I don't know. I won't know until I actually speak with Gilux again and find out his answer. So, Because I want to know if he's an enemy or a friend. To reach this... Hmm ability to appear and disappear and mm. speak inside someone's mind you need to be a powerful mage mm. right i think even people well i think even people this is my hunch this is my theory just like there was the goddess of sharshari etla Banyer, <laughs> Gundar for the, I don't believe, it's, it's my belief that there are people who ascend to a certain level of power, so much so that they are considered or almost looked upon as gods, because they are so powerful. It's only a theory. And I know what most people, when I would say this, would think of their religion as blasphemy. But I really do believe that even Etla existed at one time and was just very, very powerful. And could create things that would make her look upon as a goddess. Same as you drow below the matriarchs. Even the current one Sarah talks of. Very powerful. The information I gained from Galdrick seems so. And ruthless. But I've even told Sarah before. I have no animosity towards the drow. They, they are needed. The wood always speaks of this balance. The light and the darkness. The drow are needed. They hold the balance of the underdark. They keep it at bay. They keep it underneath where it belongs. But it doesn't mean they should be banished to stay there. That they have to be forced to live underneath there. I believe they should walk among the clear skies just like anybody else. 
when they so choose to. But I hate the fact that they are treated as they were. I truly believe in the very beginning we were all one. There was no difference between the elves. But something happened. But no, you're not going crazy. It sounds like you saw Galdrick. He's just very powerful. How powerful? I don't know. Okay. Well, you, well, let me tell you this. Not to, so you think, because this one over there saw it. They saw it. Hear it. I have a little snail called Zeph. He talks to me out in the forest. Yeah, so at this point, I I'm believe just anything. To tell you, I'm sure. just, yes, that's what, that's what I'm saying. There are things in this world that are long forgotten. Denizens of the wood. That's why I think Goldrick said what he said when he told me things of old are stirring. Things long dead are coming back to life. Back into the world. He just seemed because when that archway really curious about me. He probably is. You've probably done something to pick his curiosity. That's the way it goes with him. When a person does something out of the ordinary or extraordinary, people take notice. Whether it's... Whether if they're God or not, you will get noticed. And I can tell you, if he's taking notice of you, that's a good thing. It means you're special. It means he has probably high admiration for you, just like your father does. Haven't done anything to deserve such but attention. As he sit <laughs> well, like he told us back in in Adwick when I first saw him in our cabin. He goes where he is needed, and sometimes he goes where he is not needed. He's a very peculiar person, that's the even least. I think when you get his age, I think you get a little bit of a whimsical about you and stir crazy. That's why he, that's why I always tell old Anne when there's someone out there that reminds me of her. He's the one I speak of. Him and old Anne would get along great, I think. <laughs> Is there a way I can tell him I want to talk or summon him if I need him or... <laughs> I don't know. There hasn't been really a proper way of summoning him. I just leave notes in the grove and hope that he comes by and answers them, you know? And he has so far. So if you're interested in talking to him, I will leave a note telling them that the one named Kyler would love to speak with you again. Whenever you have the time. And he will appear before you whenever he sees it fitting to do so. And more than likely, probably when you're not around a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. But if you want me to, I'll put it in the book. I mean, I'll put it, I'll write it down and, um, you know, see if he answers. I'm sure if he wanted to talk to me, he would. Again. Mm. Okay. And maybe he, and he is... He's always been watching. So you never know when he's been watching you. He might see what... Doesn't put my mind in has in store for you. Well... Trust me, he's not... used. He's, he's... He's the one person that's going to try and look at all your weaknesses and trying to get it at you. He's probably looking at everything, all your strengths and weaknesses, to find out how he may be able to bestow wisdom upon you to help you in the future. Because he probably knows exactly what you stand for, what you stand to achieve. If he's been watching me, then he's seen terrible things. There's someone at the door. Mm. Maybe that too, but... 
We have all uh, experienced terrible things, done terrible things. One moment. Tiff's delivering some wood. I'll be okay. How much wood what did over you here, sir? from all of this? Uh, I got ten units of wood. She ordered eight. Oh. You can line right back. Um, give me one second, miss. Wait. Do you still have those two units left, or are you selling those? I can sell those. Oh, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. This last two I need. Yes. <laughs> all right, I'll unload all ten then. Okay. Okay, we got all ten wood for your stall. <laughs> last two that I needed. Knock, knock. Uh, how, how, Door how much? Uh, you can come in. No, you it's, it's, oh, I unlocked Door it. It's open. open. You can okay. come on in. Yeah, it's open. You can come on in. Um,. Okay, how much do I owe you for the the two wood? Two wood, ten copper. Okay, here you go, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. How how mm -hmm. did the vineyard thing go for you? <sighs> Annoying as this fuck, but we got it done. In, in, you can just leave all the wood here, that'd be fine, yes. There was a knock on the door. Yeah, it's, it it's, open, it's open, it's open, it's open. You guys seem to be getting busy, so I'll so um, get out of here. <laughs> okay. Well, if there's any more Take questions care, that you need to ask, um, I'll definitely. Shree, before you I'll, go, I'll try. I'll try and stop by your the forge in a little bit. Is everything alright? We're in a bit of a rush. I I haven't stopped yet. Fifteen silver I owed you. Uh -huh. Thank you. This morning. <laughs> Oh. Glad it was put to good I use. You probably pulled, pulled around a lot. Slowly paying off all the debt. Wrap up the last of it. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Mr. I help out a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, just wanted to let you know. Um, go up and see the the mistress up there at the vineyard mm -hmm. for payment. Mm -hmm. Whenever okay. you're available to. Take care, uh, sir. There was some damage to some of the walls. I took it okay. upon myself because Tang and them worked really hard. Uh, we hired, I've hired, hired Marcus. I've paid him. He's gonna work on it tonight okay. and tomorrow morning. Fix that up. And then... <sighs> it stays on. Speaking of which, <clears throat> I need to take care of the second half of your problem. If you'd come with me. And when I told you that I fought until your life, I wanted what the law did, what they did. Telephones. Not just telephones. Forced to fight in defense of ambushes. There's something that you want to. 
to say, Harry. That when it comes to logic of weapons, <coughs> it's a bit more easy for me to kill them. Well, if I see any of them with two weapons coming towards us, I'll let you know to take care of them. Shriek. Hmm. Hey. I have work for you. Come here. Whatever you need to wear to not be seen or noticed is what you're going to be using tonight. I have work for you that is very dangerous, and if you fuck this up, you will die. Let me get the papers I need. Stay right here. I took your advice. How did it work out? Understanding. I figured as much. Good. Although I don't know if I want your life to be put in danger on my accord. Kind of put my life in danger every day. These are something was to happen to you. These are trying times. Something was to happen to you. I could never forgive myself. Another victim of the purging of Adler. Why? I'm you just a drow. It was often the peasantry who seems to be portrayed as those hurt the most by Dario. Those who had family or friends who were killed inside the poor quarter. But it was far less often. I don't mean to be, you know, guard, crass, but received some of the backlash. <coughs> I'm sure I don't really mean much to you. To me, that does not matter. And were ever brought forward as victims of Dario's actions on that day. You are living Despite and breathing God as I am. Has echoed forward in time. It's because you're and you wonder how many different. Are like Harry who are still out Does it make you how many any less than me? I mean it in a way that I'm of nothing of note to you. Set off by the butcher of Adric. I've considered Liliana like a daughter of my own. Ever since her father passed. If you're that close to her, then you are the same to me. Yeah. Actually, no matter what choices she made, yeah, have a look at this. It's a little ring of silver. Engraved on the inside is what you would know as Leliana's house crest of the high winds. And the words, my, my love eternal, on the inside. Very close to her. I'm sure she you told him, have you? Yeah. 
What's the job? I need you to listen to me and listen to me very closely. Inside of that scroll is a document that will save Harry's life. That document has been forged to make it look like he was arrested in Gradia about six or so years ago. There's other documents that have been placed in other places showing that he's been in Gradia for seven years. Proof of trade deals, trade partnerships, proof of occupancy from living in Cassetto, proof of work <coughs> with the Carter's Guild. And now this will be a proof of an arrest back then of this new persona that he has. If any Arolandis or Gradians go sniffing and they find these documents, they have no reason to think otherwise. They've all been forged, and very well. But you and I both know that a forged document, my son, is no good unless it's where it needs to be. Where to? It needs to be brought inside of the castle. It needs to go into the custode's office. The custode's office is separate from the outside of the castle. It is in the outer courtyard. I know this because I was brought there. It is important that no one sees you. You, you are dead. And if you're found with that paperwork, mm. eyes will instantly go to him, and he's dead. Understandable. Now. On top of this, the custode's office more than likely either will be guarded or the fucking custode might be there. So you need to be quiet and careful. It should be night soon, so it'll be dark, you'll have that advantage. That must make its way onto one of his cabinets, filed. Doesn't have to be filed perfectly either, it just needs to be in there, so if it's ever found, it's legit. We'll answer that in a second. We're gonna go through great lengths to get this done, Harry, but once it's done, it's done. You won't have to worry about it. Then on that... If you ever do need me for anything... I will be there. I'm not going to pretend we won't. This is an investment. Count on it. Shriek, get whatever equipment you need and meet me back down here. For now, Harry. You'll find out whether or not this was a success in the morning. Don't bother freaking out. Of <laughs> At the very least, if you must prepare your things, if you must flee in the night, I will tell you the results either way. If you get caught, I'm not going to make it. He is my son. Nor will I. Kyler, you began to change out some of your equipment. It's all the usual. A life or death mission. Plenty of them that way. Looking over your equipment, you know the job. Once the sun goes down, it's time to get to work. Thank you. If we don't look out for each other, my friend, no one will. I've learned this the hard way. Do 
Do you have everything that you need? <clears throat> uh, no, yeah, I need to make a stop. But I'll do that by myself. Well. Now that Harry's gone, I'm going to tell you the real mission. Once I speak with you, I can have him wait outside if you need to. You can wait right there. I trust you both. Now, this is what's going to happen. This is going to be a lot harder than that. This is a side objective. You take care of that the best you can, but that is not the main reason I'm sending you up there. We need answers. We need dirt. We need information. <sighs> Word is that a mem has just returned in the afternoon. A couple of people saw him going through the center of town with an escort of royal guards. Whatever that he was doing on the edge of the province, he's done and he's back now. From the time that I have gone to the castle, when I had to show proof of ownership after it was handed to us by Morden, I had to get things filed with the clerk in the castle. There's a front gate. You cannot bloody go through it. It goes right to the outskirts of the throne room. However, if you look at the front of the keep, the bottom right, there is a door. That door goes into the barracks, and the barracks are connected to the Undercroft. If you can get quietly through the barracks, which more than likely will have a bunch of sleeping soldiers in it. There is a door before you reach the Undercroft. I have never looked through it, but I believe it connects to the throne room. If the brothers are back, more than likely they'll be there. If you think it might gain us something, stick your head through that door. See if you can find anything out, whether they're meeting, talking about anything, whatever it is. Come back out into that area, you'll be in the Undercroft. It is a fucking maze under there. I have never gone through it, I've only seen it from afar. There should be ways under the first floor. The first floor is your target. The scribe offices are on the first floor. There should be two or three. Look for anything that has to do with the Capitano. Records, finances, relatives, anything that we can use. And I mean anything. Understand? Hmm. Take it or memorize it. It is imperative that this works out. If we can get the information we need when it's time to depose him, we'll not only have whatever it is that we've undermined him and destroyed his network with, but we'll have legal proof as well. It won't matter how we got it. Do you understand? Understood. Do not What's fuck this up. About, What's this thing about Marcus bringing, asking for me to take Don't his blood or something? Fuck this up. Do you understand? I'll get it done. Go. If it needs to be done, it needs to be done, lad. I kind of think I need to pee before I do. <laughs> I'll be right back.
All right. Buckle up. Come with me down to the fish to see if I'm eating. When I hear you, sure I care about people. Fish. He's a good fish. It's not hard with him. Well, uh, he didn't hear from me, but from what I understand, the gods don't go for him, you know. Savitar, as you carefully look through what it was that you were handed very qu quickly. You'll notice a little note from Tazim, isn't it? It says he's looked around the outer walls and it doesn't seem like there's any handholds to climb. You have to rely in the dark and go right in through the front gate. Be very careful and tame it right. Good luck. All that remains now is for the wait for the sun to finish going down. I think it'll take two minutes. <clears throat> Is that a real world two minute or a <laughs> or a I'll be back in two minutes, two minute. I'm muted? Yeah, I know. I'm not going to say that out loud. <clears throat> this motherfucker. Savitar, you get comfortable on the steps of the arena. It's quiet now compared to when there's practice or fighting going on. All the clamoring crowds just waiting to see the next bloodshed. The sun is just beginning to set over the edge of the horizon and the tree line. Few insects are making their calls and the birds are making one last pass before they get into shelter for the night and it gets too dark to fly. But then when it's dark, you know that's when you fly. When you do your best work. You're more than capable of hiding during the day, but at night you're in your element. It's only a matter of time now. You think about the blood that's been shed in the arena and what the mission is at play. No murder is necessary. No dagger has to find its mark. Just the right documents in the right place. Just like Arn said, 
A forgery is no good if it's not in the right place. You remember where it has to be put, filed away on the custode's shelves. All it has to do is look like it belongs there. The rest will fall into place. A stealth mission, more than anything. Although you wonder if it will come to killing if you have to. Griffin takes flight. Fuck my life. Hey, Corporal! The wick is getting low on the candle here. Can you bring another? flame begins to dim even more and more up. as it as it clings to life until it eventually the wick parts way oh, fuck can you order the fuck up please he's on his way sure it won't be too much longer Are you 
satisfied with my work? Look clean? <sighs> hey, Giggo. Okay. That's me. <clears throat> How long would this potion of spider climbing last, according to Kyler? Long night shift. Kyler would know that if he were to take a potion of spider climbing, it would last for at least long enough to do the job here, more or less. A good few hours, probably. So to pinch it, could help. You would have no fear of mid-climb realizing it's worn out. Good. And it's my understanding that this is the way that Arn was directing him to, not that way. Let's see. Uh... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me look back so I don't give you the wrong answer. Because <laughs> <clears throat> that would be unfortunate. President, what's the question? Uh, this is the way that uh, Arn directed him to, right? Not through the main gates, through the sideway this way. He had said that it didn't look like that there were... He didn't account for you having a potion. He said it didn't look like there was a place there were handholds. So you're going to have to sneak through the front gates. If you improvise, you absolutely can. He is taking the potion. Understood. And he's gonna attempt. Kind of a tangy aftertaste, but you, you bite your tongue, you're like, all right, well, bad worse. He's gonna attempt to use these to his way up, if possible. Very well. If the wall doesn't work, you may need to get climb all, by the way. Uh, yeah, do you want me to grab that? Okay, go ahead and stay right here. Hmm? Okay. He'll respawn on you. Lupus, respawn. Yep. Come with me, my son. Yes. I will show you a secret. The, is the bird just like watching go ahead and click. Go, cross go ahead and click NPC. I was like, shit. Uh huh. Alright. Come with Okay, me. now you come with me. Now we use this cool little menu. Uh. You should see some more settings where you're able to turn on climb all. Got it. Perfect. Now, whoa. Yeah, I'm yeah. just testing. I'm just testing. I'm just testing. I'm going to click on players, look for Giga, and then teleport to him. You got it. My emotion that will. Oh, the. As you go up the wall, Tyler, they 11 plus 2, thanks to the potion, you feel the grip, at least in the wall, a lot stronger than you originally thought. And with the handholds up the wall, it actually seems to be doing its job quite well. Looks like the Mavericks.
As you head farther in, Chirik, you would see that the building that you passed that had several men outside of it would be the custode's office. Uh, well, in that case... Is there a chafe? A chain? Hmm? Is that like chafe? Just a bit? Or is that the one that's more out right now? I mean, I was, wasn't even going to be on night shift, and then... Looking through the small windows up here, Sharik, you see some torchlight within. Some, seems to be a couple of individuals inside, and the low murmurings of conversation can be heard, and as well as the lower gravial voice of the custode within. This is the place. Nine plus two, thanks to the spider climb potion, you feel your grips pretty tight on the wood as you dangle above the cages as guards walk to and fro without a second thought. Coming up on this door here, it appears to be locked at this time. You hear more conversation happening from the building next door. In this direction. Once again, 10 plus 2 with ease, up and over the wall, no one the wiser. As you try this door, Sharik, you see that it, it will open freely. I'm going to peek it to see if there's anyone just on, immediately on the other side. Understood, let me check. In the immediate... You do not see anyone, you hear conversations happening upstairs. This has happened before. It happened once so far, but he's too nice for his own good. 
He is too. The conversations continue from the because of office that. just beyond this doorway. This is more than likely the office in question. To, uh, agree to it. They were physically starving. You could see the spy in their fucking ribs. And is the concern that this sergeant will continue to be so, for lack of a better term, corrupt? Speak freely. I believe so, sir. I believe he is uh, too easily swayed by uh, others' emotions. I would say his heart is in the right place, but that isn't good for his position. It leads him to do very stupid things. As I said, I am unable to overrule the Capitano, but I can try and make his work more difficult. Which one of you would be willing 16 plus 2, Sharik? To stand up to that sergeant, if you could. I absolutely would. You're feeling very confident. No one would dare ever look up. Is there anyone here, in of all places. That does not agree. I agree with Fenton, sir. And you? You can be honest. I will not sure. take offense. I don't think... I mean a mistake, that was obvious, but... But the alternative was to pat them down and assume they are lying, even though they were physically starving and you could see their ribs. And it was a single man, armed, he immediately put his sword down. Everyone else was unarmed, unarmed and fucking peasants, so. Which means it would have been easy to arrest them. It would have. And because of such a mistake, we've lost a... Uh... Our good connection with uh, Mr. Wainwright, who offered the guard a hefty discount. Then this is what I will do. <laughs> I cannot overrule the Capitano. But it is still within my purview to give promotions, if I see fit. So if I cannot remove the Capitano Sergeant, I can at least balance him out so there are two of equal rank. Make sure to get your new uniform on the way out, and you as his peers, it is up to you to make sure you are not yes-men, and you keep him on the straight and narrow. <coughs> We will do you proud. I have no doubt of this. He's going to try his best to remember the faces. Albeit difficult from this angle. Rolling. With a 10, you'll get a, a fair assessment. You'll have a, a rough estimate of the individuals you just saw. Nothing concrete, but walk around town long enough, you'll probably put it together.
<laughs> moment passes. Another moment will pass. All is quiet in the office. As you walk into the office here, Sharik, you see multiple scrolls that are laid out, dated, organized along the shelves and books and whatnot. And then on the table here, you also see Shane Hillman. Much bigger than you thought. Fourteen plus two, Sharik. I'm up there, I can't. <laughs> I'm going to check this and the immediate scrolls around them if they're unbroken since that's the topic they were talking about. He assumes that they would have some sort of info on the captain. One moment. As you look around the Custode's desk, you see that it is not as clean cut as you would expect. For a man that upholds the law and focuses on that, it seems very quickly to glance the paperwork really isn't his shtick. Sweeping aside the breadcrumbs and the watermarks from ale cups, you'll see one correspondence. It'll say the following. Take note, chat. Custode. There is an issue taking place within the ranks. I have brought it up to the corporal. Barrera does not care. In the amount of time that has passed, unfortunately, the schism has only surfed to deepen. There are several men who actively have spoken out against the Capitano, and things have only gotten worse because of this. We have not found the private either. I am almost certain the Capitano has killed him, or had him killed. He should have kept his mouth shut after the night raid, but he did not, and the Capitano took notice, and he was not pleased. I beg of you, I, I know you do not have the rank, <clears throat> but you must intervene, somehow. Please. Sergeant Gomez. Slips the missive. Oh. A quick roll for you, Savitar, Kyler, Sharik, whoever the fuck you are. Sharikata. Don't, don't say that, Brunswick. You'll get canceled. <laughs> roll in. With an eight, that's still higher than a failure. You'd realize that this probably isn't the place where those documents should go. This is a grocery order. What? Perception check. No. Can't go there. Now you look around, you actually start to fucking panic. Uh, critical one, you have no clue where they should go. And you realize you've been in here for a hot minute. 
Oh god, that barrel? That barrel has sausage in it. He could come back at any time. That's a big man. He's hungry. Oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit. Backup roll of a five. That's got to go where paper goes, right? Surely no one would notice. It's not your fault. The custodian's office is a mess. That might work in your favor. You have to do. With you finishing placing the paper, you peer downstairs, and it sounds like the building is completely quiet on the inside. As you peer over here, you see cells. Occupants sound asleep. And you look in, it just looks like some bum. No one of any sort of special recompense. As you look over here, you don't see anyone in this one, but perception check. With a 19, you definitely see what looks like a piece of Jensen's armor. It's tucked over in the corner and there's hay on it. He was here at some point. As you listen to the outside of the door... Sounds quiet.
Coming into this area, Sharik, it seems to be more of the larder for the Keeve. More just their food stores, stockpiles, and things of the like. No discernible way to get out from here. The barracks, then, must be right by the stairs, then, perhaps. There was another door. Could be there. As you lean up against the door, Shadrick, you can definitely hear some arguments that are going on within. They're not quiet. And if you were to peek in, you might be able to discern what's being talked about. From the sounds of it, it seems to be an argument between the brothers. <clears throat> Be serious? Brother, you're a fool relying on these Imperials. Can't you see? You're causing friction with our neighbors. The other dynasties are looking down on us. The more you rely on these Imperials, you can't use them to get what you want. Your attempt to fill our father's shoes? only takes you away from what you're supposed to be. You're ruining Father's legacy. I'm ruining Father's legacy. What have you done, Father? Tell me. What have you really done to bring about good policy change? The sense of death? You know nothing of what our father... <clears throat> Keep note, chat. All you do is laze about amongst the people. For what? Appearances? To look good like the generous brother, the one who really cares about how they feel. And never once have you ever taken interest in anything other than your own enjoyment, your own image. I can't believe you don't see that you are the one who's jeopardizing everything. And all this lashing out, this effort, this speaking with the council. Do you have any idea how much damage you're really about to do? All these things, all these games you're playing out without reproach. Only reason I have not stopped you myself I don't wish to embarrass you as my brother. We need to appear united for these people. For our people, Kobel. Yours and mine. My father is gone. And you do not have time to come to your senses anymore. Time is now to secure the province. 
And if you continue on this diatribe, this charade, whatever the hell it is you're doing to make yourself feel better, I'm not sure how much more goodwill I have left for you. You'll be forced to take action sooner rather than later. You know I don't want to do that, but my hands are tied. What? And then? You'll have me killed for involvement as well? Get out. Quick correction. Hmm? The door is locked. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Apologies. Correction. Hmm? Sorry. So you have tried that door and it felt and it was not budging from the side you were pulling. So it was locked from the other side. Barred more than likely. <laughs> He's uh trying to remember. Where Arn said the um, scriberies probably are. He assumes up here. It would be through the door this way, further in. Yeah. As you come to this door here, and you try to open it, it is in fact locked. So looking at it, and you test the door. This one doesn't feel barred. A simple job, perhaps. A nine plus two. The lock is rudimentary, along with everything else in this crumbling keep. It, in time, it will open. You just have to be careful, since so you do not break the pick. Keep going. <laughs> With a dull click, the lock turns, the door opens. In the corner, you see a couple, a guard sitting on a stool, taking a break of sorts, and a couple of people sleeping within.
looking at the parchment here, Tyler, for the most part, it just seems to be more servant orders than anything else. Go fill pots, who's on what shift, things like that. Nothing useful here, but this just seems to be more of the, the servant hub, as it were. Sorry, I'm plugging in. You're good. Uh, no. Oh, peaches, peaches, peaches. Where are you? I was just in a box of peaches here. Do I look like a servant to you? You look like you might know where a box of peaches is, is that what you mean? I might know a place. Come with me. Oh, really? Okay. Just don't, just keep it between you and me. All right. This is the bathroom. There's no peaches in here. That's my secret How would there be peaches? I don't want peaches out of bedroom. A second. Click, 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 click. The guard looks over, <laughs> zeroing on your position. <laughs> hmm? What was that noise? Huh? <laughs> Is there any ill there? Them rats? They're fucking birds for you. Really? Oh, there we go. Fucking A. Woof! Nothing. <sighs> Want to play a game of dice? Yeah, hey, sure. Okay. Ready with a sixteen plus two. You press up against the wall in the darkest part of the shadow you can. He doesn't seem to notice. I don't play for free. Okay. Putting ten copper down. I'll raise you. Yeah, I'll give you that ten copper. All right. All right. You test the doors here. Shady. These ones appear to be locked. And as you try to press on it a little bit more, just to check it, barred as well. For whatever reason, this area's been shut off. More than likely, you'd have to cut down to the other stairwell that you saw. You ready to go again? You took note when you came into the undercroft from the barracks. There was a guard standing in the corner. Oh, really? Obviously, he was watching the hallway. There was no okay. way from your okay. side. How about 20? But if you wrap back around, there was a stairwell by ah, him. That's what I'm 20 copper. Person with the highest dive away. There you go. Okay, here we go. Don't make the 
assumption. As you look at the desk, Shriek, your eyes go over some of the paperwork, you look at some of the books. Rolling. Let us see how lucky you are. As you look around the books and the table itself, you flip through the different items that are there, seeing if there's anything of note, anything of value. All you see is reports about incoming food, incoming wood for the stoves, coal for the baths. Nothing really of import. With a critical one, you don't see anything really down here in the undercroft that might have been extra or pertinent. This isn't your target area anyway. As you look down the hallway, you see the stairs. My guard was standing at the corner when you came in. That's got to be your way up. As you come over to the door, you pull on it a little bit and see it's lightly locked. No bar, though. No sound coming up behind you. Rolling. You fiddle around with the lock, Sharik, taking your time carefully. Your hands are a bit sweaty inside of your gloves. You're a little worried. You're deep in it now. You're not even sure if you remember your way back, but you focus. There's people waiting for you. And you saw how concerned Arn was. Well, the 16, silently, you hear a click, click, and a pop. And the lock undoes. The area is large. You see white marble floors, tiled floors, all sorts of intricacies. And this door is open. Mm -hmm. You realize you're on the first floor and this seems to be one of the studies. It's a large room, however. rolling with a 10 as you go through the scrolls you don't see anything of import think guard reports guard reports consistent easily accessible Rolling. Yeah. 
Let's see. What for? Oh, this thing. This is interesting. The shelves not mm -hmm. supposed to be there. Have one of the servants move it later. Wait, this one. <laughs> oh god, I'm going to talk to make sure that they people know where I am. Oh no. <laughs> he grabbed uh, this one. one. After checking mm, that one. Smart boy. No. You open up what you see in that scroll. And you read... Something interesting about the scribe that's here. They handled, apparently, finances. Mostly finances for the soldiers, the guards, and the staff. After the departure of the Castillan, there was a lot of work that had to be spread out amongst the remaining scribes. The Castillan was dutiful and took care of the finances almost solely by himself. Upon his departure, the scribes had to take it into their own hands. And it says, Looking through the ledger, Sharik would see that whoever is reporting to the Capitano's income as a paid soldier of the Radads must not have done so properly. The income shown here still matches the income of his last rank. It hasn't even changed since his last promotion. Either the Radaj didn't increase his salary, which is highly unlikely, or he was misreporting this since his promotion, or even before it. More than likely, he has become complacent and never updated whoever he bribes into filling out the ledger. The ledgers have been filled out with false information. That's scroll. This is a side note. You remember mm -hmm. that Arn would have said to bring back whatever you find. Yeah, that was my question. In which case, Kobe. <laughs> Job, <laughs> I'm gonna need a second. <laughs> Go ahead and clean that up. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and make fun of you the whole fucking time. I just did a replug it in because my dumb feet are getting low. Stupid feet. No. Should have plugged Maybe them in. They are plugged in. Shut the fuck up, Grandma! <laughs> the fuck is Grandma? <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> fucking old ass stinky bitch. Okay, what about you? Whoa! Grandson, is that you? <laughs> It's been, it's been 25 years. We keep him in a hole in the wall. Come into my office. What the fuck? Dad said you're not allowed within 50 <laughs> feet of me. No, that, that, that was school. Tell your father that he is my son and will do as I say. Oh, oh no. <laughs> not again. Is that, is that him in that room? We got him on the ropes. <laughs> Don't tell him, please. Please. You roll high for this roll, then. Or I'll fucking scream. You son of a bitch. All right, I'm rolling. Just don't tell him. One second. Describe Plugging my hands. Huh. Imagine getting blackmailed in your own roll. <laughs> All right. Rolling. As you go through all the scrolls, Shariq, you don't really see anything pertaining to what you're looking for. With a four, it's just all bullshit, or things either that or you don't understand. <clears throat> things about running the castle. Nothing political, nothing of use. As you listen, it sounds quiet. And rattling of chain and plate it can be heard as men patrol the opulent hallways. Hey, Godsman, can you come here? I need your help. <laughs> Ooh, 
I need you to hold the bottom of this ladder this. for me. As you come into this room, you'll note that oh. this must have been one of the doors you tried to get through, as there is a bar across it on this side. Seems to be stuck to my hand. Everything under just control. Hold the bottom, please. There we go. Just, just hold the bottom. Okay. Things all good in there. It sounds quiet on the other side of the door. No, wait, you hear Chain approaching. <laughs> I almost thought I could fall from that. Hmm? Guardsman, did you hear that door to your right click? Rolling. With an 11, you're pretty I'm sure you did. Ahead. Should probably check it just to no, be sure. No, I think I'm good. The sound of plate gets closer and closer to the door. You hear a hand trying to handle. And it slowly begins to open. The rattling of plate as the man walks in. You get a glance at him, Sharik. All these castle guards, even though there's not many of them, they're outfitted to the teeth. They wear brigandine, plate. They have spears, shields, and swords. Some even maces. Well, there's not a lot of them. They're definitely elite, and they have the equipment for it. The man goes and checks to see that the bar is still down, and seeing that nothing is moved and nothing is out of place, he departs and returns to his route. Oh no! Are you all right? Oh, yeah. As you listen on the other side of the door, you hear plate fairly close, but it begins walking away. It seems relatively clear. Rolling. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I wouldn't have heard him. <laughs> As you go around the corner with a 14, you hear ching, ching, ching. Literally, as your nose is about to be <laughs> nose with another man, and as he's coming around the corner, you see the shield before you see him, and you pop back around the corner as he walks past. As you come inside, you see what looks like one of the servants on the ladders. You'll hear footsteps coming up to the door, or at least past it. <sighs>